new package from Tactical Paddle. Just people watch a lot of unboxing videos on YouTube, but I don't know, understand why it's so important. We have today the new version of the El Toro 2.0. <laughs> And the new version of the Katana Black. And they're both in 3K carbon now. And they look amazing. So we're gonna go on court now, test that out. And a new overgrip from Tactical Paddle, which is super strong. I really like it and it lasts quite long. It's like me in the bedroom. <laughs> you don't have to leave a lot of space because it's uh, smaller the overgrip of tactical we are going to review the el toro 2.0 the new version and the black katana new version and what is new is they are both 3k carbon teardrop and round frame made of kevlar frame made of carbon <laughs> it looks good so before we had a few of them from 6K Carbon, but um, 6K, the material is extinct. We felt like the 3K actually made, um, made it better. I don't know why, but it just plays a little bit better. Hmm. I like this one. Katana Black Edition. This one is softer, I can feel that nice. Yeah, bigger sweet spot, black katana. And easier to maneuver. But it's harder than the last years. It's more, than the last uh, version, it's more powerful with the 3K. You can feel the difference. If you hit it in the middle, you hit it even better. So it's like two, two sweet spots. I feel the same with the El Toro. Ah, nice. It's okay to block. You can block with the Black Katana easier than the last version. Yeah, I like the control. Uh, okay, I'm gonna play some Follies. But I, I like it. It's a good racket. Bigger sweet spot than the El Toro, the Black Katana. Easy to block. Has more power than the previous version. The previous version was 6K, this is 3K. I feel more control now at the net. It feels. I can feel the racket better with follies. It really goes into the... Oh, feels really nice with the follies. So much control. If you play on the right side, you like to build up the point, or you play with control, you can play the ball everywhere. I think I can play a very good drop shot. Oh. Okay, El Toro, two point. Oh. Oh, nice. You don't have to do so much with the racket. Yes, just let it go. Nice. Oh. Yeah, if you just follow through and let the racket do the work, it's the nicest. Ooh. It's more powerful than the green El Jefe, I think. Hatsa, Hatsa, a lot of good, I like this, I'm gonna play with the El Toro. Uh. It's easier to attack than with the Katana, I think, uh, with the Katana and the El Jefe. Oh, show. Fibra with the El Toro. Uh. 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 Oh yeah. So much power. I have to slow down. 
Okay, some smashes. Oh. Venga. Holy shit. Wow. Owls. I always play with round shape, so it's a little bit more complicated to adjust. So if your level is good enough, you, have to, you can play with it, but it takes a while to, to adjust and to get the racket softer. So now the sweet spot is quite small. After I play more with it, it gets bigger. So I had some bad hits. If you hit it correctly, it, it flies faster than I can handle it <laughs> at the moment. So I had to, if you play with El Toro 2.0, you just play it soft and it, and it will come. I was playing too fast. So for me, this would be a very good racket because the racket, I can make the racket work for me by just guiding it with the ball instead of hard hitting. So um, I think I'm going to take the El Toro 2.0 over the 1.0 because I, uh, I need something that is more powerful. And I, I watched the World Paddle Tour like the entire week in Denmark. And <laughs> the thing is, is that you just have to let it happen. They, 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 they place not so much smashes. Um, so what is important for me now at the moment for a racket is that I just do the swing fully in a soft motion so I can play the ball everywhere I want. And I think the El Toro 2.0 gives me the power that I need to just get it over the net without doing too much. This is a very powerful racket. You just have to guide the ball and the rest will happen. Okay, with the Katana, the new version. Fibora. Uh, oh, nice. Nice. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, yeah, young. Hoppa! Uh. Yeah, with the black katana, I hit it more clean, more control, because I always play with round. I, I hit the ball better. And for this one, I feel like just focus on the tactics and let the technique happen. Just don't use any strength. Let the racket do the work and just play tactical. As the final verdict, I would say this is perfect, a perfect racket for beginners to advanced players. They play on the right side, they play with a lot of control. They don't hit the ball necessarily too hard, but if they want to smash, they can still manage to smash very well with the racket. This is a racket that if you need to play better in defense, it's gonna be super nice. So this can help you a lot. The El Toro is more teardrop, three spot is smaller. It's more for advanced players, I would say. The racket is quite hard. After five, four times, something like this, it gets softer and you feel way more control. So I struggled a little bit with the timing today because I never play outdoor and the teardrop shape is slightly more difficult. But if you hit it well, it flies so hard. So for me, it would be a very good racket to use because if I 
play with the round shape racket, it's quite hard to get it outside the court behind the line. And with a teardrop shape, I can do it. So for me, I'm going to switch from El Jefe to the El Toro 2.0. It is a fantastic racket. Oh, yeah, I like it a lot. So, ladies and gentlemen, after one and a half hours of playing, I absolutely love the Vibra with the El Toro 2.0. It's so good. It is so much control. You just have to let the racket do the work and uh, you don't have to do anything. Just swing the racket all the way, no power, and it is magic. But once you go to the El Toro 2.0, you cannot go back anymore because this is from another level. I'm done now. I was one hell of a week when uh, in Denmark, so I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> It's nearly 12 o'clock in the afternoon, but uh, yes, thank you for watching, ciao.